Hi everyone, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Diamond Paint with Grace and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, please, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below underneath, next to which is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. I have a new company to me called Craft Art Club reaching out to me asking if I would like to select some of their products to review on my channel and I certainly took up the challenge or the request or whatever you want to call it. It is a budget friendly site so please do your due diligence and check to see if there is stolen artwork on there before you purchase if that is something that is of importance to you. Okay before I get down into the bag which is down here <laughs> I am going to send some love out to the patreons okay to those that have bought me a love heart or a coffee on the buy me a coffee uh, program thank you so so much it is so very much appreciated let's throw some love out to these peeps and i'm going to see you on the flip side come with me guys Okay guys, let's get into this package. It's been a marathon day of videotaping. I've just gone back to back to back to back. It's been a day, it's the day that I did my live. Uh, a whole bunch of fun, a whole bunch of fun. It was my birthday live, so let's get into this package and see what Craft Art Club have given me. Now I'm gonna leave that to last. And we've got one, got some things in there that I don't want you to see just yet. <laughs> Two, oh gosh. I've been unboxing such small ones that I'm not used to the big ones anymore. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, and some other products in here. So let's leave the paintings and let's bring out what these are. I'm so excited about these because I've been curious. You ready? You ready, Freddies? Uno, due, e tre. Voila, we have one, two, and three. We've got diamond painting trays, and one in each color and a smaller one. So are they all the same size? Let's have a look. Let's have a look, look, look. Been curious about these. Seen them on a couple of websites. I don't know if uh, the one that I requested was to be a smaller one or not but it doesn't matter it'd be good for you guys to see the comparisons now i think there's pardon the crinkling i think there's three different sizes to be honest and these are two of them and if i know me at all i know that the these two here would be the larger one and that would be probably the next size down let's throw that on the floor and let's have a look at these trays. So they've got the, um, I, don't, I don't know if it, it doesn't feel like it's diamond painted. I'll have to ask my offspring if it's diamond painted or just plastic. But it is a, oh, and it's a double. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. So you get double. Interesting. Okay. So you can have two different colors happening there. And if you're going to be having them out for a while, I mean, you can have, for example, get yourself into a, an, into a rhythm. See how they're different heights. You can sort of say, okay, I'm always gonna put the darker color in the tall one and the lighter color in the, in the, in the thinner one. See that? So that you don't get mixed up. So dark in the tall, light in the short. Make sense? And I'm assuming, yeah, they're all gonna be the same. So you can absolutely, multi yep you can multi have multi you can have up to six colors depending on how many you get i mean there's three here so i could have up to six colors going out uh, being used at any one time what i'm curious to know is how well do they go when you've got diamonds in them so let's have a look see how well are they going to spread those puppies out and be interesting so they're not too bad they're not too bad 
and then how well do they come out is the question so you would go down to that end I suppose because at this end let me put that down so you can see at this end it, there's no grades there's no lines down at this end so that's why I pushed them down to there let's do it over another one. Oh yeah not too bad not not too bad at all they don't come out too bad and not a bad quantity it's stuck in there <laughs> Uh, I cannot remember how many colors in to like you can choose from. These might be the three colors. There might be more. I can't remember, but obviously I will put the link. Come out, you, you stubborn thing. Look, it's stuck in there. Can you see that diamond? No, you can't. See that diamond there? Look, I can't get it out. <laughs> it just does, it, it's like, no, I want to stay here. This is my house. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, I'm bringing out. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to get it out like a savage now. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Naughty thing. You're in timeout. <laughs> you are certainly in timeout. So diamond painting trays, and they are super cheap, super cheap uh, from memory on the website. I think, oh, I can't remember, but I'll put it obviously on the website, uh, pardon me, on in the description. And they close shut as well. So if you've got diamonds sitting in here and you walk away, you put your top on. So that way, if you've got uh, fur babies that are around, they're not gonna knock your diamonds everywhere all over your painting, okay? So again, as I said, I believe there are three sizes. They clip on okay, they're clipping on okay. And they're not giving me too much drama. And I've got two of this one size, and you can see the difference. If I lift that up like that, you can see the difference in the sizes. It's not too, too much, but there is a little bit of a difference. All right, so that's those. And I've not ordered diamond painting trays from companies before, so that was really, really um, nice of Craft Up Art Club to send them to me to review. And they are that hard plastic. All right, so let's get into these. Shall we do, shall we do, shall we do what looks, they look, I might have done the set thing again. So let's do these two first and let's do these two second and then we'll do the last one. I think that's a pretty good pattern to get into. Let's have a look see. Hope everyone's doing well. Like I said, this morning I had my live and I've done, oh, and I've lost a diamond that's come off my nail. That's okay, I'll reattach that later. I'm ever so carefully trying to open this up. Okay, so we've got what looks to be some uh, bite-sized paintings here. Let's have a look. Now, when I, I remember these were labeled really weirdly on the website and I think it was something like Alien, Alien I think, or some weird name, uh, really strange and unusual name. And I'll try and remember to flash it across when I, when I put up the picture. But we've got a boat, a plate of wax and a pen, everything you need to start in diamond painting. If you're dabbling into this craft for the very, very first time, no need to do any upgrades, they can come later. See if you like it first by using the toolkits that are provided with the paintings. So we'll pop that aside. These are our diamonds here that we'll be playing with to put on the canvas. It is the right way up. Alrighty, let's turn it around and have a look. You ready? Uno, due, e tre. Aha, it is a mandala. I'm getting into the mandalas, guys. I'm getting into the mandalas. If you, yes, yes. There's a few that have been ordered from a few sites. I've, I think a lot of people have their thing, you know what I mean? And I think mandalas are becoming mine as my little go-to, as my little go-to sort of bite-sized painting. Now, I don't know if it's glow in the dark. Let's go down and have a look in the drill field and see. That's a bit of glare and I apologize for that, but let me lift it up so you can see. 
Now this drill field here reminds me, and I've said this in another video, I don't know what order the videos are going to go up in, but this drill field and the codes that are on here is quite reminiscent to me of diamond dots, to be honest. So let's have a look. We've got how many? 10 altogether, special diamonds and shapes. We've got some that are just coded at the bottom, which move to the top here. And they're, oh, 47. That's not even a DMC. 150. I'm assuming they're, oh, there's an AB. Let's get into the diamonds and have a look. I don't know if it's glow in the dark. I really don't. I can't remember. I guess we'll find out soon enough. So whilst I'm opening this up, I will flash across the screen here what the original artwork looks like. And let's have a look and see. Not a lot at all. It looks like this will work up really, really quickly. So we've got blue bubbles, pink crystals, and then one of my favorite favorite colors again this one's got a party happening in there they all the people wanted to join we've got a pink one there a green one there and another green one there and a, a gold one there we've got our white ab's see now for those of you that are new to diamond painting an ab is a diamond or a drill that's got an extra special coating on it like this does here uh, which makes it sparkle and twinkle even more so when you put it down on your painting it will make all the diamonds around it twinkle and sparkle as well. We've got some faceted blue ones here. Then we go down to a teardrop faceted peacocky color here. A blue, electric blue. And that's throwing off all different colors as well. Here. And then we've got a pearlescent teardrop and bubble teardrops. No, not a bubble teardrop, a bubble pearlescent one here. So let's pop this one aside and get out the next one. Are you ready to see what the next one is? Okay, let's crack into it over here and keep going. Come on. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. What do we have? We've got our boat, standard boat. We've got our diamonds here with all mixed things happening in there. Let's roll it back. I have a suspicion that again, it is in the same sort of theme because you know, hey, why not? <laughs> one, two, three, or one or two or three. <laughs> and here we go. And it's as I said, guys, I think it's called Alien Blooming Crisp, Blooming Flower Crystal or something. It's a really weird one. Really, really weird. However, I did get this one to match my first one over there. And if we go down into the drill field, again, these symbols, or some of them, are very reminiscent of the... Um, Oh, I've lost diamonds on my nail. A very, very, blah, 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 blah. use your words, Gracie. Very reminiscent of the diamond dot symbols. And here we have 11. 11. But you can see the drill field is really super clear. Really super clear. I've actually just finished one. Not, of, not one of these, obviously. But I've actually just finished one. So, again, I don't know what order the unboxings are going to be getting loaded up but this is bright bright you've got pinks and purples and oranges and all the things and then you've got the round um circle around uh, the round circle around oh my gosh gracie gracie flash across here what the original artwork looks like so that i can open these and show the people let's have a look let's see what you're going to be playing with in this lot you ready guys Okay, so we've got the gold, red bubble ones, little non, oh, why don't I turn, gosh, Gracie, that's a separate one. Then we've got stark white, stark white pearlescent green bubbles, or 
what are we, what are we gonna call these? Purple bubbles and a whole bag of white ABs. Mm mm mm. Yum yum. I wonder if these. I wonder if they're glowing. Can you get glow in the dark ABs? I wonder. And then, what are they? They're purple. Are they faceted? Let me have a look. Yes, they're crystals, faceted crystals, and then gold. I wonder if these. I'm going to do something here in a minute, guys, whilst I show you the next one. Uh, where are we? Then we've got some green crystals, some small um, pink or oh, magenta. Turn it around, Gracie. Magenta. And then this orange here. So they're pretty. I wonder. No. I tried to charge these up, wondering and hoping if they were. And they're not. Um, wondering if they were glow in the dark, but they're not. They're not. They're not. <laughs> so I'm thinking that when I chose the two mandalas. Oh, everything's falling. I'm wondering if when I chose the two mandalas, whether I, in my head, maybe this isn't an alien one. I don't know. We'll find out when I go back and do some, uh, when I do some edit, editing and I'll show you all the pictures. I'll give you the names. But these were the two that I got to kind of match together. They kind of do, kind of don't. I think maybe this I was trying to capture in this. Mm, the colors are not quite the same. But you know me, guys. I will be on the hunt for some more. An easy amount of uh, special shapes and diamonds to, to play with. There's only, what, 10 in this and 11 in this one. So really, really cool. Really cool. All right. Let's pop them aside somewhere. Gracie, throw that on the floor because we don't need that. And let's get into these two. Okay. We'll do one at a time. This one... Isn't it interesting? See, look at that. It's been just taped over the edge. I wonder, if, like, do they measure these to so? I, I, mm, I'd love to know the other end, the other production end of what they do. Maybe they kind of slip it in and then cut this and they do it exact. Oh, this one's stuck. All right, let's have a look. What's this one? We have toolkit and this has got tweezers oh, this one's interesting this one comes with plasticky tweezers as well as your pen tray and wax alrighty oh this looks a little bit more complicated complicated you got lots more stuff to play with in here but let's have a look at what's in this one you ready guys uno due e tre oh wowzers wowzers oh wow that's um Goodness gracious, look at that. Look at that one, peeps. Oh my goodness. That's almost a full drill. That's almost a full drill. No amount, no amount of rolling or anything is going to flatten that out. Honestly, it's just not. Let's have a look, though, at the drill field. Look at that. She's full on. So if you like your special shapes and you like, uh, you don't like partials, maybe this is one for you. And you can see it's very, very clear, very clear. It looks like to be all letters. But how bright and happy. This just makes me happy. <laughs> Literally just makes me happy. Oh, Like it's a happy picture. So here we've got, all weird weird sort of numbers i'm not going to lie so but the symbols is what we're going to be looking at so a b c d e h k p s u v is that a one on the 12 maybe yeah and then it looks that after here is all special shapes but we're going to have a look anyway um some of them have actually got guide circles which is interesting interesting i don't know i'm trying to recollect if i've seen guide circles on a special diamond or special shape painting before but the painting itself is just so happy guys oh i'm so, look at it look it's a beautiful beautiful 
one big flower and then it's got this bouquet of flowers down here. So it's kind of a mandala but kind of not, if that makes sense. How pretty. You've got one schematic or one, I don't know why I'm calling it a schematic, one legend on this side. Let's uh, have a look at here and I'll, I'll flick up the painting or the original artwork there so that we can have a look and crack open into this bag. That's really, really... I can't... Mm, I love it when it's a surprise. <laughs> Good, there's a rogue hair in there. Ew, ew. It's just ew. You know what I mean? It's, you know when it's like ew? <laughs> Alrighty. What have we got to play with in this one? Let's zoom you in. We've got large pink, uh, they're, are they faceted? Yes, they're faceted. Large pink rhinestones, and then we've got red, and then we've got gold marquees, really gold. That's like, that's a real gold. It's not yellow, it's gold. See that? I might actually do that so that you can see so much better. And then we've got little pink teardrops and they're really, really tiny, really tiny. Green, blue, purple, a, a darker purple. So these are, yeah, they're both rhinestones and then a big bag of the pink. Look at that pink. Gorgeous black. They look in the camera, isn't that funny? It looks in the camera like there's a lot of uh, ones that are not supposed to be in there color wise, but no, that's actually the colors that they're throwing off. See those orange tinges that they're throwing off? Hmm. And they've got a big bag of yellow, orange, green magenta and then red so that's pretty cool and these have just the code of the painting ka 140 which matches what's on the on the painting and then we get all the special things oi 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 fun fun where's my lens here we go get little teeny tiny and they're teeny tiny look at that teeny tiny um gold teardrops and we get just a very few of these marquees some gold or yellow bubbly ones some green teardrops some pink teardrops and just just two two of these two of these little button ones just two little button ones i wonder where they go that's really 12 so 12 is the number one. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna go scoot. Oh, the number one. Okay, that makes sense. You get two, but you only need one because it goes right in the middle here. Just one, see? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So that is almost a full drill one. So as I said, if you, some people like different combinations. They might like special diamond ones, but they don't like the fact that they're partial, yeah? So this, it's bright, it's happy. It's got lots of uh, nice, pretty colors in there. And you could definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of this one, for sure, for sure. All right, let's just pop that up there like that and let's sit that one aside. Now it's got me curious as to this one. It's really got me curious. All right. Scooch you out. Oh, 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 oh. Scooch you out. What is this one, Gracie? What did you get for this one? And um, obviously are all themed. Oh, wow. Might be the same because we've got tweezers in this one again. Pen, tray, wax. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, what does that mean? Let's pop them aside. You ready? Uno, due, et tre. Hula la. Wow, 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 wow. And again, this is the same, guys. 
This has got 18, 18 special shapes and diamonds and all the good stuff to play with. Okay, it says DMC here, but uh, I don't know. I'd take that with a grain of salt. Again, the drill field is very, very clear. And it looks to be in a very similar sort of um, circular pattern. What are these? Are these like mandala flowers? I, mm, interesting. Interesting. But it is very, very clear. Whilst I've got you down in that position, I'm going to flash across the screen what the original artwork looks like so that I can crack open into these and see what we're playing with on these ones. All right. Oh, lots of bags there. All right, so we've got orange and blue. And that's a real coppery sort of orange there. Silver, gold, these black silver ones. And teeny tiny blue marquees. Then we get, oh, then we get into the fun stuff. Look at this. Blue peacocky sort of mark, um, teardrop facets here. They're going to be gorgeous. There's a bit of glare on that. There you go. Then we get green facets, bubble buttons here. And these big ones, wow. Massive faceted emerald green teardrops here. Now I know why you need the tweezers. <laughs> uh, faceted marquees. And then we've got a sort of like a, I wouldn't say it's silver, it's throwing off a few different colors there, but these marquees here. There's lots of special ones here. Oh my gosh, these ones are so much fun to play with. Then we've got these beautiful blue, um, really stretched out. They're really stretched out um, marquees, if you want to call them that, I suppose. Red teardrops. Look, there's lots and lots in here. Red um, faceted marquees. Oh, and then along with those big emerald green ones, I didn't see these at the start, but now we've got blue ones as well. Look at that. And, oh wow, pretty, 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 yes. Purple, peacocky sort of ones. Purple, purple uh, faceted marquees. And then we have these teardrop ones. That is a bunch of stuff. Like literally, like that's a bunch of diamonds to play with here. And they've all got the code of the painting on them so that you don't if you happen to separate which I do I've now started doing that with my paintings I separate my diamonds from my from my paintings in the system that I've created but I also then put a sticker as well so ka144 ka144 so let's quickly pop these over there one so there are four yeah I don't see how maybe these two together and these two together as colors really weird Hmm, interesting, but it's okay. They don't have to be matchy, matchy, matchy. They don't have to be matchy, matchy, matchy. These are for my in-between projects. So to have something on the side whilst I'm working on my bigger paintings and um, just to, to have some fun with them. Now, the next painting is going to be fun to do because she's a big one. Now, let me pop these things all aside because I might have to stretch you guys out. <laughs> I, I might have to just... Oh. Uh, uh, my phone just p 
pinged and it said that I've got a delivery coming. Yay. I don't know which one it is, but we'll find out. We're going to find out together. What is this one? Am I going to get it all in camera? Probably not. No, definitely not. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. Let's deal with one thing at a time. We've got our toolkit. Toolkit. <laughs> Pop that over there. A big whopping bag of diamonds with bright, bright colours. Look at these colours that are in there. And I'm guessing these are just regular diamonds, okay? There's nothing in here that looks on the outset to have any special, uh, you know, ABs or diamonds or anything like that now. How am I? You're as far out as I can get you, which means I'm going to lift you up a little bit. Bear with me a sec. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. That's the best I can do. You ready to see what this is? You ready? You ready? You ready? Uno, due, tre. And, 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 and. Oh my goodness. It is a panel painting. I think I've gotten only one, maybe, maybe this is my third one as a panel. And it is of a beautiful orange, orange, Gracie, yellow, yellow, it's yellow, <laughs> yellow, yellow flower here, presumably a rose, I think, these gorgeous red roses at the back, the foliage is coming down here, it is just gorgeous. Now, there's a couple of things with these paintings. You're probably wondering if you're new to diamond painting, what are these? So these are, you know when you get artwork and they're separate little pictures and they're all bunched up close together? Yeah, that's what this is. Now you can, you've got a choice. You can either leave them with a gap in between or once you diamond paint them, you can stick them close together so that the picture runs uh, consistently between okay which is probably I don't, yeah I think I like that version better I like them to be stuck together and then you get the drop down gradient like that a bit of glare happening there but there is another couple of advantages to doing paintings like this too because each individual one becomes a separate little project to do and you you kind of almost will feel like you're getting it done quicker psychologically speaking i suppose if you smash out one it's like okay i've done one now i can do one the second one and then i can do the third and the fourth and the fifth so a beautiful just very bright floral painting for you to be able to tackle yep okay and i'm guessing that these diamonds, let me bring you down into the drill field. Let's have a look. Each can, each, um, each, I wonder if they're all the same. That have to be, really. Yeah, that have to be. X, I'm just looking, peeps. I just want to make sure. So each of the each of the five panels has exactly the same legend to work with, okay? So let's have a look at this one here, because it's probably the easiest. So you've got, I'm trying to do it so that it will, so one is one, two is two, three is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is that? A, that's the letter A in there. It's, a, it's like an orange A on a green background. It doesn't look clear at all to you, but that's what it is. Then D, E, H, J, K, L. Huh. Because of course, why wouldn't you do an M and an N in the same, in the same color with the same letters? Oh yeah, 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 that's gonna be a little bit painful. O, P, R, S, T, U, X. Thank goodness it doesn't look to be a lot of the browns, but let's, uh, it does look, gosh, what are you looking at there? Okay, this here is that A. Now, admittedly through the viewfinder, that looks extremely blurry, okay? It looks extremely blurry, but 
where I'm looking at it from here, I can actually see it. So if you can trust my advice on that, whether it's the glare or not, I don't know, but I can see it far better than what you can there, all right? So then we get into the M's and the N's. And you can see that they are different, but you're just gonna have to be on your toes. And there's that A again in between. And it is in the older style square type printing as well. And with the M's and the N's, those brown bits, there's not a lot for you to have to tackle. Let's have a look in the other sections. It is pretty clear there's P and R, which that, again, you'll have to concentrate on these. They may trip you up just a little bit, the R and the P. So you just need to be on the ball. Oh, and then we get into these darker bits. So the bits that you can't see here, that's that A, okay? Again, I'm telling you from the out, outside the viewfinder, I can actually tell what it is, okay? And then you've got the I or the one in there, J, K, so beg my pardon, J and H. You're getting a sense too. It's a bit of a color block confetti happening as well. I need to finish one of these um, panel ones. I really, really do. I really, really do because I want to get one up on my wall. And I think there is one other huge one that I've got <clears throat> that I think will be the first one. But this is really pretty. I'm, I'm not too disappointed. The um, symbols could have been a little bit better charted, to be honest. Uh, that, but otherwise, it is a really pretty, pretty, pretty picture. And sticky, very sticky, very sticky, guys. Very sticky. And as I said, you'll, you'll feel like you're accomplishing it so much quicker because you've got individual little projects. I will probably... Uh, when I do this, I'll, I won't cut them as single projects. I'll probably leave it as one canvas and move that way. I might, I might not. We'll see how we go. These are the diamonds here. We'll take a really, really quick look. And whilst I'm opening this bag, obviously, I will put across here what the original artwork looks like. There is such opportunity to... Gracie, Gracie, bling, bling this. And obviously, you need to put something in here. You, I mean, it's calling for it. It's screaming for it here in, in the main flower. Uh, maybe some around the edge, but definitely playing with something in the middle so that you, you really encapsulate that. And then I would maybe do the roses as well. Not a lot. Not a lot. I would I would actually do the highlighted part of the roses. And then, yeah, it is pretty. Oh, wow, I'm just taking it all in. I hope you guys can see it properly. See that? Lots of fun in this one. Lots of fun. It's just pretty. It's elegant. What a beautiful present to give somebody. Let's uh, roll this up that way just so that we'll have a really quick run through this massive train now on here there are no dmc's just checking beautiful bright colors guys beautiful bright colors just to quickly run you through them i mean look at these bright colors honestly a few greens that you're going to expect not too many though not too many that you would You've got one, two, three, four, five. Five there. And then you get into more pinks. And look, look, bright, bright, bright. A bright colour's your thing? Then this might be the painting. One of my other favourite colours to diamond paint. And what's this one? Number one. Oh, and you've got three bags of 310. Three bags of 310. So these are all your diamonds here that you're going to be playing with, or your your colour palette, as I like to call it, so that you get an idea if this is, you know, something that you would enjoy. Is the subject matter plus the colours something that you would enjoy uh, putting together, well, creating, if that makes sense. Wow, Craft Art Club. Thank you so much. I'm going to throw these to the side here. 
and bring all our stars of the day out again. So we've got our beautiful, beautiful, I was going to call it a triptych. It's not. It's a panel painting. Panel painting. Again, I need to do one of these because I would love to be able to show a finish and, and show you what my final decision would be on how to put it together. So who knows? I might end up making this another whip. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Uh, so we've got this one here. Where did I throw the others? Where are you? Where are you, kiddos? Then we had our mandalas. And here they are. So that one there, there, and these two here. And then, not forgetting, of course, our diamond painting trays. Yay. So thank you so much, Craft Art Club. I really do appreciate it. I've got all these on the side. And, and you know, Gracie doesn't fly like that. Let's put them all upright. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, Art Craft Club. I really truly appreciate uh, you sending these out for me, to me, for review. I look forward to having a play with these. I look forward to doing up uh, uh, possibly this one here and coming back at a future date with a finish. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm going to get to them, but I will get to something. So with all that being said, wherever you guys are in your part of the world, I hope that you're looking after each other. You're looking after each other, uh, yourselves okay have each other's backs it is so so super important if you've gotten to the end hey a thumbs up to you a thumbs up to you and if you have gotten into to the end i would love a purple heart purple heart emoji that would be kind of cute because that was the smallest of the diamond painting drills <laughs> so yes a thumbs up to you if you've gotten to the end i'd love one in return i uh, until i see you next time i'm sending you all much, 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 much love. <laughs> and ciao, ciao for now.